I'm going to show a new feature of the open source insulin pump controller called Loop. For the first time, a smart pump can not only factor in carbohydrates, but also fat and protein. This is useful for both carb-heavy meals such as pizza, as well as low and no-carb meals where it was previously difficult to determine how much insulin to take. We can use the barcode scanner in a nutrition app to scan the box. It comes up as one sixth of a pizza for a serving, but I will change it to the entire pizza, which is 1,941 calories, 215 grams of carb, 76 grams of fat, and 94 grams of protein. Now if we start up loop, and I just wanted to show you the options, there is a new setting called FPU ratio. It is fat plus protein calories and then divided by the setting. You can use it much like you do a carb ratio in the sense that the larger the number, the less insulin you will get for the fat and protein. Also, there's a setting called FPU delay. That's from zero to two hours for most people. And now we are going to put in that meal. So we put in 215 for carb, 76 for fat, and 94 for protein. It's recommending the initial bolus, which we will go ahead and give. Now you can see it created this two-tier equivalent carb profile. If we go into that, it is showing that it created an immediate entry for 215 grams of carb, and then the other is the equivalent of 82 grams of carb, a one hour delay, and distributed over 13 hours. And this is fully editable, so you can revise or delete that later if you want. Now we could eat this entire pizza. But while this feature makes it possible to eat an obscene amount of carb, not everyone wants to do that. So here is a no carb example. Let's say 400 grams of salmon. That is zero carb, 21 grams of fat, and 98 grams of protein. We can come into loop and we can say 21 fat, 98 protein. Now loop will treat this differently than the pizza example because it is less than 40 grams of carbohydrate. That's a threshold that research has shown to be important. For zero grams of carb, the fat and protein effect is half that of for meals with a large amount of carb. And it will ramp up between zero and 40. If we hit save, we can come back here and look at what it did. It shows an immediate entry for zero grams of carb. That's actually logged as 0 0.1 grams as a reference point for what time you ate in case you later want to see that in Night Scout. We can see that one hour into the future, it is providing 22 grams of carb equivalent absorbed over nine hours and 28 minutes. This feature for fat and protein is not part of the standard distribution of loop, but will be submitted for consideration of being included. If you want this because you are either a low carb eater or want to be able to eat a normal amount of carb like someone without diabetes, you won't have to wait much longer.